Hi guys, this is Emnal, and we are back playing House of Iron 4 with Death or Dishonor DLC. We've already played the campaign as Czechoslovakia and State Democratic. This time around we are going to go with Romania, and to make things interesting we will go with uh, fascists this time around. Tomorrow, on the other hand, there will be a communist Yugoslavia. And on the stream we've played uh, unaligned uh, Hungary that was creating, uh, recreating a Habsburg Empire. Uh, we will go for a handful of achievements, actually. Um, let's just pick this bit. Uh, we're going for Ironman mode. So, achievements are as follows. Uh, well, I don't remember the names uh, off the top of my head, but uh, we need to basically not lose any territory. Is the first one and the second one by 1942 we need to control either berlin or moscow so our goal is going to be moscow in this one then of romania all right so um, romania is actually very interesting and very unique in uh, in the way the focus tree and national spirits work uh, if we take a look here, we have neutral foreign policy, which is, well, just, you know, generic thing for uh, some uh, unaligned nations. But we also have King Carl's the second lifestyle. Uh, King Carl is a playboy, and he is uh, bleeding Romania's budget dry. And uh, we'll be getting a series of uh, events every few months that... Uh, will have disastrous consequences to our uh, political power reserve or to our industrial capacity. And uh, one of the um, decisions we'll have to make is how to get rid of the, of the asshole or uh, how to rein him in. Um, the ways to do that are in this part of the focus tree. Uh, and uh, we can, as you can see, there are quite a few options. Uh, we can, uh, if we go with Balkan dominance a uh, bit right here, without focusing, uh, we're not, without going for democratic, fascist, or uh, communist governments, uh, we can uh, simply go and uh, rein in, uh, rein him in right here with the parties must end. For that, however, we need to field. Uh, 400,000 men and uh, force uh, Hungary to either become our puppet uh, or go to war against them. So uh, it, it will take a while. Mm. Another option is to have a coup. Uh, to have a coup, the war tension needs to be at least 25%. So it's uh, we basically need to wait for uh, Japanese wars to start and then we replace him with what I believe is his younger brother, uh, Prince Michael. Uh, also, the two uh, options on the, very, on the very bottom of the screen right here, here we can rein him in or we can uh, force his abdication if we go for non-democratic government. Uh, so, uh, there is that, but uh, this is a very basic thing, a basic uh, explanation of that, and there are many things to consider. Uh, first of all, as you can see, none of those things are mutually exclusive, and uh, all those things, I mean, going democratic, going fascist, or going communist. Uh, that's another very interesting thing about Romania, is that we can, uh, to some extent, flip-flop. Uh, a lot. Uh, Romania uh, has changed governments and alliances during uh, during the World War II in such a way that it would uh, uh, shame Italy uh, completely. Uh, so, uh, and it is uh, represented uh, in such a way that we can, for example, first go democratic, but then decide to mm, go with the axis or the other way around. Uh, similar thing uh, is on the well international part of the tree, let's call it. And those three paths aren't mutually exclusive. They become locked uh, the moment we actually uh, join a faction. I think peace with Germany. Uh, apparently, not. I could have sworn that uh, the, you cannot join 
you cannot go this way if you are not in a faction, but apparently that's not the case. Or or it doesn't show. I'm pretty sure that I wasn't able to do, do with the devil once I was uh, in Axis uh, in one of my test games. So either I'm remembering it wrong, it was uh, patched uh, since this is still a preview version, or the tooltip is wrong. We shall see. So uh, you can, for example, go with deal with the devil, get form uh, peasant militias to get some nice recruitment population, but then uh, go with Germany or uh, indeed with the allies. One thing that we'll uh, want to highlight, well, two things that we'll want to highlight playing as Romania uh, are new mechanics of uh, licensing equipment. And since we'll, we'll align with Germany and Germany uh, has some nice hardware uh, that can, uh, they could license uh, to us. And uh, secondly, we... Uh, what was it? It's... Uh, 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 the name of it. Convert, uh, right, we can uh, convert equipment. Um, historically, let's take a look at uh, a tree right here. So historically, uh, most of the tank destroyers, uh, self-propelled artillery pieces and so on and so forth, uh, have been made by uh, taking the old chassis, uh, such as, for example, uh, in well, m most of the Stugs, Stug free tank destroyers were Panzer IIs with the turrets replaced with a, you know, anti-tank gun and so on and so forth. So, um, the way you can go about it is you can uh, up now upgrade uh, your old equipment uh, to the to the new one. You can either, uh, for example, take those 1934 tanks and. Uh, uh, turn them into 1936 anti-tank guns or um, simply upgrade them to the newer version of tanks uh, by paying uh, only a fraction of uh, of the cost. So we'll try to uh, showcase that new thing as well. It actually suits Romania very well and our situation here. Uh, we'll discuss uh, less, uh, rest of the choices that we're going to make later. Um, I mean, the, the biggest cho choice here is uh, preserve Greater Romania on or going to Balkan Dominance. As you can see, Balkan Dominance allows us to put pressure on well, most of the Balkans and get uh, either uh, force them to puppet or refuse and go to war or uh, to, uh, well, Mm, simply get uh, mm, Casus Belli against them. Uh, the benefit of getting a Casus Belli this way is that uh, allies will not have time to actually guarantee uh, uh, guarantee those. And this uh, going this way, we will be able to carve up more of the Balkans before actually having to go to war. And we are going to, uh, since quite a few people actually during the stream and uh, in the comments on the Czechoslovakian videos requested that we go with Balkan Dominance, we are going to uh, pick this one. This will make licensing equipment from the Germans a bit more difficult, but I think we can handle it. So uh, we'll hold on to that. And uh, as far as um, this bit goes, we are going to go with fascists rather than uh, going there. So if we were to go right here, we suddenly have no real way of turning fascists, uh, which is uh, well in our uh, plan a bit uh, a bit problematic because even the uh, fascist demagogue is gated behind the appoint axis government bit, which is a bit weird, but well I guess it's a balance issue. So. First of all, we are going to go with uh, additional political power, and then we'll revise the constitution, which is another interesting part we'll discuss uh, later. But uh, so, yeah, King Carl will become our uh, our actual leader because this is not the King Carl; this is an uh, uh, unaligned prime minister uh, of our nation. Now. Uh, we have some uh, docs, as you can see, so we are not going to uh, produce that. Oh, right. And one, th one another, uh, one thing to mention is that uh, the way those things are structured, 
requires us to have a certain amount of uh, manpower in the field. Which means that we will, uh, we will need to... Uh, well, do several things. Uh, we'll need to um, start training units, even uh, though we don't really have equipment for that. But we, we, need, we basically need the bodies on the field to be able to force uh, those things to, uh, to happen. And another, uh, so let's, uh, be, before we continue, let's go through our research. Uh, we start with motorized and mountain equipment, which is very nice. Uh, Stray mountain equipment we'll discuss in a second because there are some nice bonuses we can achieve. Uh, we start with engineer companies, but no recon, so eh, it's all right. Uh, we do start with uh, 1934 tanks. Usually it's not the great thing, but uh, we will build some to utilize this conversion uh, thing later on and turn them into uh, actually uh, better better types so uh, we'll showcase that and uh, nothing in the artillery department we do not have uh, uh, anything around here and um, well, we shall see what we will pick um, I think between superior firepower and battle plan doctrine because we are a fairly small nation and uh, we basically need to uh, put our... And we will have a fairly decent um, industrial capacity, especially coupled with uh, our licensed production for the quality equipment, which means that we we'll want to uh, put that whole thing into a nice use. Uh, naval, I'm not interested. Uh, air, sadly nothing here, but once again we should be able to license stuff from Germany eventually. A doctrine, since we are, we will be fighting a land war, definitely battlefield support is the way to go for us. And there's nothing in engineering and electronics and as far as research goes we'll start with the uh, standard set. Civilian factories. Um, so problem is, well, one of our problems is the fact that our territory here isn't very well developed, nor it has an, a chance of being um, particularly well, uh, well, there are not, not many slots for factories. And if you remember how those things work, uh, you need to build uh, five city, uh, five military factories for the uh, in for the investment in if infrastructure to pay off. In such uh, in a way, investing a little bit in infrastructure, for example, in Bessarabia, wouldn't be uh, bad for our uh, ventures into Soviet Union. But we can deal with that later. And uh, for now, we'll just uh, try to build up some of the. Uh, uh, some factories because uh, I believe only North Transylvania would become worthwhile uh, and by that I mean once we will research uh, let me show it here once we will research 1939 tech we will have uh, the full amount of uh, uh, five slots uh, here so but uh, that's a very long way away and uh, yeah, it's, it's basically not worth it. And we wouldn't be able to even finish building the infrastructure here from the atrocious plus 40% uh, anyway. So mm -hmm. we'll just start by building, uh, you know, although, okay, you know what, let's, let's build a few, few levels. And the moment we switch to the uh, better uh, economy law, we'll uh, finish that and start actually building thing is that we won't be able to build uh, much of anything anyway because of the um, events that we are about to experience. Uh, in our current situation, uh, we will continue building light tanks, uh, as I mentioned. Uh, we have what? Uh, three div well, I will just put everything in infantry equipment for now, mostly because, well, uh, we need to, uh, bodies in the field. And even if we end up at worse, they won't be all that, uh, all that difficult anyway. So, and uh, we will um, buy a little bit of steel now. Mm, who do we want to buy it from? Well, Germany. 
So this will be... Uh, as far as resources go, we of course uh, have nice Romanian oil here and very little bits of aluminum and steel. There we go. And there's, there it is. King's mistress purchases villa. Magda Lupescu, a mistress of, the, of King Carl II, has reportedly purchased a new villa in an expensive suburb of Bucharest. How she could afford it was subject of extensive speculation. Who knew? New evidence, in, uh, new evidence in foreign newspapers strongly suggests that the king himself authorized the purchase with the government money. The scandal is spreading and we must make a public announcement on matter as soon as possible. So we have two shitty choices. So we can say that uh, the government has purchased the building and allowed Miss Lupescu residence. Or we can just uh, blame the king. The king took the money out of the, uh, an advance on his allowance. So, well, it's, it's basically an excuse. So uh, we need political power, sadly. Uh, so and since we are not really pr building all that much, we'll simply take a hit into consuming good factories, which will basically result in uh, us not having anything in terms of civilian factories to build stuff. Yeah, we're down to three. But 90 political power is way too much for us to, uh, to take a hit on. Uh, so, um, going back for a second here. So we'll go for Balkan dominance. And uh, I believe we will go to war with Bulgaria rather than attempt to puppet them. Because, uh, I mean, having puppets as uh, such a small state isn't a bad idea because you can use them to uh, substitute your own manpower. You can basically build the divisions using their manpower, but uh, our um, our military, uh, our equipment, our military hardware. Sadly, uh, the requirements so. Um, so there are two reasons that we want it. Well, first, the first one, of course, is that it will, uh, well, they will have more military factories by the time we get to them. And uh, another thing is uh, we need, uh, and we will need those military factories to basically build up enough of an army to unlock the rest of the, uh, the rest of the tree. Additionally, that basically saves us 70 days and uh, and one focus. So, for that reason, um, Bulgaria specifically, we are just going to attack. Uh, the rest, we will, I am afraid, have to go through the, uh, through the bonuses. Uh, not through the bonuses, through the focuses. Right, well, with that out of the way, let's just fast forward this whole thing. One important thing, of course, we need to uh, change the colors and get ourselves a leader. We, as you can see, we start with a, pr with a set of uh, pretty nice leaders. We have Antonescu that will later become our fascist dictator. And we have uh, Dimitrescu with both offensive doctrine and logistics wizard. So great, uh, actually great stuff. And of course, a level four. Uh, we've set um, our priority to um, building new divisions rather than reinforcing old ones, but, uh, well, it will be only a war against Bulgaria and not in so... Uh, not in a, such a close future. So we instituted royal dictatorship, and now our playboy king is actual head of government. He lowers national unity, but that's not an issue. The issue is in here. Mm, now. Uh, we are, so there is a single benefit to having him as our, as our leader. Uh, and this is, uh, the fact that he is a Camarilla leader, which, uh, and this will lower the political power cost on uh, quite a few options for us. And we're going to, uh, to use it for, well, mostly for uh, getting a single political advisor, uh, which is a silent workhorse uh, to, to, increase our political power gain and to increase this to limited conscription because without limited conscription we won't be able to field uh, 500,000 
uh, troops that we need to uh, divide Yugoslavia and uh, secure Greece right here. So there we go. Uh, I'm not going to pick it quite yet. We could, but uh, the uh, the amount we would gain from uh, silent workhorse within those 70 days is lower than uh, those 25% we will we are going to save once this finishes. So we are going to uh, wait for that. That's uh, this way we'll save I believe 18 political power, which I mean nothing to scoff at that's uh, that is going to be close to the uh, price we'll have to pay for uh, this bit uh, for justifying a war goal against Bulgaria okay so effects of supplementary budget which is the you know 20% uh, penalty just run out but it won't be long till the next villa or shopping expedition will hit us Okay, we finished mechanical engineering. Let's uh, keep looking at that. Yeah, we can. We are not going to buy a second uh, tanks then. Another problem is that uh, as long as those things uh, pop up, we. So, I will show it that later actually. And here. All right, unassigned divisions. We already uh, placed that one, and just make sure they are all coming up here. Now, um, I think in our current situation, we'll simply uh, just uh, so our main goal, like early and mid game, is to uh, keep. Uh, taking over the Balkans without actually joining ISIS, uh, Axis, not ISIS, well, same difference, uh, quite yet, so we can just gobble it all up, uh, fully annex them and not having to worry about the allies. We'll see how much we can uh, we can eat before we get called uh, on that, but well, we shall see. Uh, so. But what it uh, amounts to is a fairly long game, unlike uh, the Czechoslovakian game when we know that we'll uh, have to go to actual proper war uh, within uh, two, uh, two and a half years. Here we can probably wait till uh, the Barbarossa actually before we, we have to end up at war. So that's nice. Alright, so... Another uh, thing that about the uh, revi revisation, re re review of the constitution, is it it? I think it's review of the constitution is uh, that we get sentinel of the motherland and a bonus to recruitable population. A very nice thing indeed. Now, um, as soon as we get to this, we'll have enough uh, fascist support to switch straight to uh, to the fascist government, but uh, that actually, well, that uh, put Antonescu as our mm, our national leader, which removes the Camarilla leader leader bonus that we have. But uh, Kings is still in the background and still, still you know, um, parting. So, mm, well, uh, we want to uh, since we'll get to, we will need to justify the war goal anyway before we go to the uh, to the upper, before we appoint axis friendly government we'll just uh, grab balkan dominance uh, that reduces uh, justify goal time as well as reduces uh, the cost of them because they are now uh, linked together there we go and of course we're going to get the silent war cross and here we go. And so, sadly, this doesn't work for military terrorists, and it doesn't work for the design companies. Uh, there are um, another interesting thing about Romania is that you get quite a few interesting design companies that you get through the uh, focus tree. We'll get to them at some point. Um, 
So, uh, our choice, so, um, as I discussed uh, at the very beginning, removing the actual king uh, from, uh, you know, sitting in the background and parting our uh, industrial capacity away is going to be the coup. We, we will have to do it uh, as soon as possible, which is during the war against Bulgaria, I think, which uh, will require us to actually prolong the war a little bit. A bit annoying, but, well, uh, what can I do? Because we need to uh, have those 70 days uh, to deal with that. We already have access to the research slot, but uh, I think, you know, uh, get, getting both Bulgaria and uh, getting uh, rid of the uh, king's... Uh, Penalties is more important than getting a research slot quite yet. Okay, machine tools. So for now we'll probably have... Oh, oh yeah. King throws a lavish party. Despite being vetted by the king himself, the official coverage of the recent uh, feast at the royal palace has caused great public dissent. Pictures of the king's mistress in expensive French evening gown and the detailed descriptions of the seventh course meal eaten from the golden plates have further inflamed the population who are still suffering from the after effects of the Great Depression. The king demands that we make a public statement to support at once, of support at once. So this is uh, sim basically the same effect as before and once again we are going to uh, just just support him because we cannot really afford to take a 90, 90 point uh, political power hit. I'd rather you know, uh, waste four civilian factories. Alright, uh, and here we will go once again with dispersed industry, because it's um, the fact that you get uh, additional 5% 5 uh, 5 base coupled with the uh, conversion speed bonus that will actually be useful for us in here, but mostly that and uh, efficiency retention, in my opinion, uh, tramples the 5% difference in factory output we get here. So, here we go. Mm, now, I think we will just uh, switch to the limited conscription outright because we'll need that later and, uh, well. Oh, right, I've spoken about uh, why we are so uh, happy to have uh, mountain infantry. Uh, because our military high command is uh, particularly great. We have access to the infantry expert. Uh, who gives plus 10% and plus 15% to um, attack and defense for our infantry divisions. And commando experts, which gives plus 15% to attack and defense to our special forces divisions. And, you know what? Mountain troop divisions count as both. Which means that once we have both of those, uh, that's plus 15, plus, 30, uh, plus 25, plus 30 to our uh, attack and defense of our infantry divisions. Absolutely amazing stuff. Uh, so, uh, for now we are not going to uh, change our troops to those mountain divisions because, well, uh, they require twice the 50% uh, more uh, in terms of infantry equipment, so that's uh, not our, our goal is to have uh, bodies in the field right now. Uh, but we'll get the, the yeah, the, but that's that's our end game basically as far as infantry goes. So uh, actually quite similar to Czechoslovakia, but well, this is the, the best way to go, even better for Czechoslovakia uh, for Romania than Czechoslovakia. And the Spanish Civil War. We're of course not gonna uh, change policies quite yet because uh, well, we'll get. Uh, straight access to partial mobilization once we go uh, fascist. The issue with that is, however, that the moment we go fascist, the, we lose the camera leader, so uh, one way or the, or the other we'll have to pay 150 for uh, partial mobilization, which kind of sucks. But, well, here we go. 
And yes, let's go for a limit conscription on the cheap. All right, and we have all of the minions. Last but not least, uh, once again, we are going to uh, gaze longingly at that uh, research slot, but decide that we actually want to conquer m uh, our need to conquest is, uh, is higher, so we just go for flexible foreign policy to rush uh, Axis government. Because since we are unaligned right now, we are not able to uh, even attempt to justify a war on that. So we need a fascist government for that. And since we're out of time, we're going to continue in the next episode. That should be out in a few hours after this. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Oh, and since this is a first uh, part of the series, please do leave a like if you enjoyed the, uh, the episode, and because that allows people to find it through the YouTube uh, search engine. Also, of course, if you want to see more uh, of Half Fine 4, subscribe. Cheers!